Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and this is the Friday freebie. A lot of you have already gone and downloaded this, and that is great. I almost printed mine too big, but um, just choose fit to page, and it should print fine for you. So I went ahead and cut out this one. Now put these tags close enough that you can do like a trifold tag or double fold tag or you can just cut them all out and use them individually. It doesn't matter. I just put them close together so that I can make them a little bit larger than normal. I think I'm going to make a trifold out of mine and I'm going to cover the other side with some paper that you can write on. So I'm going to pull my glue paper over here and I know you can't see it all but that's fine because it is a little bit glary anyway because this is just an, from an old magazine I just use any kind of old pages that I can except my book pages I don't use those I, I use junk mail we get a magazine every Wednesday I guess it is and it's just a a little magazine that I don't even care for. Quit used to read it when he was around. He would read it, but I don't even look at it much. Unless it's got a recipe or something in it that I think I might like. So I use it for gluing. This is an old hospital uh, notes and things that when the girls worked up there they got. So I use that. Anything that you have in your stash that is paper, use it for gluing because that way you don't use up your good book pages. Now this is a good paper that you can write on. I've got something, i got ink or something all over me and I don't know where I got it. And I'm going to cut it with my scissors. You can put it back in your trimmer. I don't know how many people lately have said, why do you not cut with your trimmer? Why do you cut it with your scissors? I like to cut with my scissors. I, I enjoy it. it uh, I like the feel of it. I like the sound of it. Everything about it. It just it relaxes me. I just love it. So that's why I cut with my scissors. It's not to aggravate y'all, I promise. It's just because I like it. And yeah, sometimes I don't get it exactly straight, but I get it pretty straight. It's close enough. What was it somebody said? Closeness counts in horseshoes and something else. Oh, hand grenades. <laughs> I think it counts in crafting too. But you can certainly put it back in your printer and do your thing. I just like to do my thing and you can do your thing. And there's always a fast forward button on here. So if you don't want to watch me do my thing, then just fast forward it. Now that one had glue stuck all over it, so my scissors are now nice and gluey. Now this is not a freebie. I, I printed this out because I'm going to be using it in my faith journal. But this is some words that Melina made, I think, last year. And they're, a lot of them are inspirational words, and I thought they would be really good to use in that journal. So I, I printed these out so I could remember. So I'll put them over to the side. I'll put a link to those below where you can go over and grab some of those if you want. Now, I'm going to let this dry before I try to fold it because if I try to fold it right now, I'll make a mess. Okay, there was one thing that I wanted to show you guys. I had a couple of people that said, how do I use pressed flowers in my journals? Is there a way that I can use them where they won't shed? that kind of thing. Now I know there's lots of tutorials out there on using pressed flowers. I don't know a lot of different ways because I don't really use a lot of pressed flowers that are not already uh, preserved in other words. But I thought of a way during the night last night when I couldn't sleep. I thought of a way that I think we can use them in our journals and not have to worry about them being preserved. And, and if you know what I mean when I say preserved, a lot of the pressed flowers that you buy, they've already got some kind of preservative on them so it, they stick together and they won't fall apart. But if you're doing your own pressed flowers, of course, you, don't, you might not want to do that. So 
I thought we would experiment a little bit today because that was one of the questions on how to use things that you might have in your stash. Just a freebie thing. Or that was one of the requests, I should say, not questions. Um, yeah, okay. I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this because I've not done it before. We're just, we're experimenting. Okay. Now I cut, this is vellum, and it's some of our vellum that we carry in the store, but you can use whatever vellum you have. This is eight and a half, and I don't want my tag, and we're going to make a tag, and then we might make a pocket. I don't know. I don't want it quite that tall. So I'm going to make it at about six and a half, maybe. Yeah. I'm just going to cut it off at about six and a half. Well, I need to hold it so I can cut it off straight. There we go. And then this little piece will save back. Now I left, if you notice, I folded it, and then I left about a half an inch larger than this part of the tag. And let me see if I can tell you what size that is. That is three and three quarters. And then I left a half an inch right here. And that half an inch is going to get folded up. And I'm going to use my score tool here to fold it because or to make my score line because I am not good at making a score line without this on vellum. I can on other things pretty much but not vellum. <laughs> I end up folding it crooked and when you fold vellum crooked you're done for. It's it's done. <laughs> okay, I just folded right at the edge of that. And now we're going to fold that over. And I probably should have left a little bit at the bottom to fold up too, but you know, we'll do that on the next one. Right now we're experimenting, so I think we can work it. Now this is actually going to fold in there. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish that real well. So let me see. Now I don't have a pressed flower. I don't think, unless I accidentally have one from somebody that might have just sent me an extra or something. But I do have this flower. Yeah, I don't think I have a pressed flower at all. Which is fine. You don't have to have a pressed flower. But... This the question was using pressed flowers. Now I don't think this little piece is supposed to be on the end there. I think that actually came off of another flower. So we're going to cut that off and then put that back. So that is going to go on the inside of this, the inside of the vellum, like that. Now this is a kind of a smoky vellum. If you use a very crystal clear vellum, you'll see more of the flower, but that's okay with me. I like this okay. I think, though, I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape maybe at the bottom and maybe some at the side. Just see which one I want to use. I don't think I want to use that one. Maybe the, woo, maybe the flowers one. I can't hold on to them. Yeah, I think I'll just use a little piece of this. I'm just going to put it right at the bottom. And I am going to wrap it around. You could just cut it off. I'm just going to wrap it. And then up here, I want to use another little piece. And I'm going to use, I think, a piece of this. And just kind of let it hang off about like that, maybe. All of this is being made up. I have no clue if this is going to work. We're making it up as we go. So I'm going to put that right at the edge. Not that high because we're going to cut our little tag shape. But right there, maybe. Well, did I put that crooked? 
try to put it straight if you can. There we go. That's straight enough. Okay, now this we're going to put on the inside. Like that. And I'm going to cut a little piece of this leaf off just so I don't have to worry about it sticking out and then I'll put the other little piece under there like that. Okay, let's move it up just a tad. There we go. I like that. So there is our flower. Pretend that's a pressed flower or you know a flower that you got out of your yard. And then we're going to do some gluing. This I may cut down a little bit more. I'm not not happy about that yet. So we'll see. Once you put it together, you can kind of, kind of tell what's going to work and what's not. Now, I am going to glue this flower down, because if I don't, I shouldn't put the glue there. If I don't, it might move, and we don't want it to move. Hmm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay. I, I just thought of another way that we could do this, too. Uh, let's put it down right there. And then put that up under there. There we go. And then, since I didn't leave any at the bottom to fold up, I'm just going to run a little bead of glue across the bottom. Okay. Now I'm just going to press that glue in so it doesn't show through. And I'm going to take this up, I think, hopefully. Not crazy about it right there. I like it, but I don't like it. So I may save it for something else. Let's see. Let's lay that there. I wanted, what I wanted was a stamp. And there was a stamp on here, but I don't know where it is now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little piece of this washi. And this has just got some um, it's like some little music notes on it. Let's see if this won't work a little bit better. Let's see. Let's cut this bottom off. And I'm just going to fold that around. There we go. And now I'm going to cut this into a tag shape. got to get the sticky off my scissors. Okay, so there is the tag so far. Now, I didn't glue the top together, so we can glue the top together now. I kind of wanted to see, wait and see how I wanted to cut it. But I'm going to go ahead and glue it together. Again, make sure you press that glue in. If you press the Barely Arts glue in, then you don't have to worry about it showing through your vellum. Now, we could also put a label on there. We could have put the label on the inside, but I think I'm going to put a label on the outside, and I'm just going to use one of these. Let's see. Let's just do this one that says Nature. Yeah, let's put it right there. Okay, there we go. So there is a, I think, a cute tag. And it's a vellum tag. Now, you might say, well... Where are you going to write on that tag? You can write on vellum, but let's do something different. On the back, let's just go ahead and cover the back with something. We can cover it with a piece of paper. You don't have to because you can write on this, but let's just do for the sake of those people who 
want to say, I don't understand how you're going to write on that tag. Let's use a little piece of this, maybe. Now, I'm going to fold this because if I don't fold it, then when I put this on here, if I left the white down there, you would see white through it, and we don't want that. Let's see if that one's going to work. Mm. I think I really want a different color behind it, so let's try another one. Let's try one that's a little bit darker. Yeah, I think I want that one behind it. Okay. Now, see, if I put it down like this, that's great. You can see, you don't see white through here, but you've got white back here. So we're going to actually fold this piece of paper so that we get this on both sides. And then we're going to line this tag with it. I'll fold it about right there. These are some scrap pieces anyway that I printed on paper that I shouldn't have printed on. So we're just going to use them for this. Yeah, that's going to work, I think. Let's make sure that I folded it large enough, and I did. Now, I'm only, let's see, let me think about this one minute. I am going to use my glue stick, and I'm going to put glue on the back of this. We will decide which one works the best, but I think right now this one's going to work okay for this one. Next, we might use something completely different. I told you this is trial and error. Now I like trying out new things. Okay, we'll put that down like that. Make sure you press that glue stick in really well. And then I'm going to trim this out. Now you actually have this on the back. You can put one that is double sided and have something to write on on the inside of that and leave it like that if you want. I'm just going to glue mine down. Like I said, it was printed on a paper that's very thin anyway. So I'm just going to glue this one down. Next, we might do something completely different. We'll just try a bunch of different options and see which one we like the best. There we go. So we have a vellum tag that has a flower on the inside that could very well be a pressed flower. If you press some flowers in a book, take them out and put them in here. It's going to protect them because everything's sealed up. And then I just used a little bit of washi to decorate it up. Then we can punch a hole up here, especially since we put that backing on there. And we can run some seam binding through there. So to me, that is cute. Going to be a cute tag. So let's lay that one aside and we'll try another one. We might do something a little bit different. Who knows? I'm just going to grab another piece of the clear vellum. And I just guess how far over to fold it. I don't really worry about it being exact. And then we'll cut this edge off. I'm about to dump everything in the floor. Right. Let's see. And I think on this one, I think we might do something a little bit different. So let's grab this. Go ahead and give it a Scored line down through here. Oops. Okay. Then I am going to put it this way. That's eight and a half. Let's score it at. Let's score it at two and a quarter. So I'm going to score across at two and a quarter. 
Look at that. I scored it in two different places. I know you were yelling. You scored it in two different places. Two and a quarter, Edith. Not two and an eighth. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So let's move that guy. Now, we don't need... Let me think of what parts we don't need. I'm going to cut out right here. Just a little bit. And, okay, we don't need this inside piece, this piece. So we're going to cut that out. And I really need to clean these scissors off before I do this, but I didn't. Okay, and then we'll cut right down through there. So then this piece is going to fold up like that. You know what? We don't need this little piece here either. I thought we did, but we don't. I don't think. I'm a thinking. I'm a thinking. Let's go ahead and fold this up. And then that's going to go on the inside. So we can leave that piece and we can just fold that around if we need to. Doesn't matter. You can cut it off or leave it. It doesn't matter. If you cut it off, you're going to be gluing right at the edge. So you can leave it. And on this side, we may just run the paper on around if we put some paper or washi on there. Let's just put washi on it. All right, so then we have a little pocket here. This will be a tag, and then we're going to have a flower on the inside. So let's open this back up and find us the flower. Now I've got some large ones in here that a friend of mine sent me. And let's see if we've got one that... Oh, that would be pretty, wouldn't it? A little bit tall. Let's, that one's a little bit wide, I think. So I might do the yellow one. Let's just do the yellow one. We're gonna have to cut a little bit of it off, but that's okay. We can always use some of that somewhere else if we need to. That part. So that will go like that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and glue that down before I do anything else. And I've got, a, got in mind something else that I might want to do. Let's see. I hope I get this in the right place. Some of these large ones are a booger to get down straight anyway. Okay. That works. Right now, I want something right across there, like a label or something. And let's see, I think I want to use, I'm going to use one of the Tim Holtz. And it says Small Talk. I'm going to use one of these. Uh, I'm trying to find one that actually, right here, this is a good one. And I'm, I've had these for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and put some extra glue on the back so it doesn't come up and then we're going to put that right across there yes i forgot to bring a towel to the table we have these in stock i'm pretty sure small talk and chit chat i believe Right then, I think we can go ahead and glue this down. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. I was wondering what that little piece of paper was, and it's behind it. Now I want to cut a little hole in this. I'm going to have to have some scrap paper to do that. Let's use this little scrap since we've. Well, 
Well, Edith, you can't get it torn small enough, can you? There we go. Yes, I'm liking that. Now, what would we like to put on here? I don't think I want that one. This is a washi that I got from <clears throat> the washi tape shop. And these little flowers and things actually peel up. Oh, it's got a... Well, that one's a no-gooder. Let's cut that off. Let's try a different one there. Let's try this one. So, I'm going to put that right there. And yeah, this looks more like fall, but it's fine. We can still use it wherever. So, we got that one there. And I want to put something right here. I'm thinking about just a little piece of this, maybe. Nope. Okay, I'm going to go with a little bit of this. And I think I want it to turn in like this, maybe. And I'm just going to run it right there. And then we'll fold that around. What else do you think we need? We need something else right here, don't we? I keep looking at that, but that's not working for me. Let's use one of these little stamps. Waltz of the Flowers, it says. And then we need to glue this down. I'm not going to put washi there like I had thought because it's I've got that flower very, very close. So I'm just going to run a little tiny bead of my Barely Arts glue down through there, and that will work fine. Look at that. I love that. I should have inked it before I glued it, and I didn't. So we're going to do it now. Okay, then we're going to cut this into a small tag shape. And you can put anything inside these. Anything that you want. Doesn't have to be flowers. It can be birds. It can be ephemera. Just whatever you have in your stash that you want to put inside these. So now we have a tag with a pocket and it's got a flower inside. Now if you want to put something on the back you can do that now or you can leave the back just as it is and you can still write on that. I think on this one I'm going to leave the back like that until I start to put it in a journal but I love that. It's how simple it is. You can also put something else on the front if you want. You don't have to stop there. You can keep decorating up if you want to. Get some of this washi out of my way. So there's another. Now, let's see. What else we got that we can do? Let's do one with this vellum. And this has got little circles on it, I guess you could call it. Let's just try out one with this. And we'll do, we might put something else on the inside of this just to see. And hmm, I think I'm going to cut this one off a little, but I'm not going to cut it off very much. I'm going to make this one about seven inches tall. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try to make our score line down through here. Okay, it looks like this one is four inches. If I could score straight. There we go. Right, fold and burnish that score line. 
Now let's decide what we want to put on the inside. We might not want to put flowers in there. We might want to do something completely different. Sorry, I got the sniffles. I feel like my nose is burning. I wonder what he would look like in there. Do it this way just so I can try him out. Well, he wouldn't look so bad, but I don't think I want him in there. I think I might want this, these flowers in there. Okay, I'm going to tear off a little of this side just because I want it a little bit closer to the flowers on the edge. And let's see. Okay, I'm going to tear off a little of the bottom. Well, first we'll go ahead and tear this off. And I'll tear a little of the bottom off. Now this one's got a backing on it, so we're good. Oh, I love that. Now I am going to tear that off right there. Hopefully, I'll get it close to straight. If not, it's okay. Oh, I think that's cute. And I'm going to see if that will fit down under that flap. If it won't, we'll trim it off just a little bit. I'm going to trim it off just a tiny bit. Okay. That goes down, the flap goes down, and then that goes down. I like that. That's going to be pretty. Now I'm going to make sure it's all the way to the bottom because we are going to cut these edges and I'm trying to decide if I want to put a label on the inside there so it'll kind of show through. I think I will if I can find one that I want to use. These black ones really show through. Okay, let's do this one. It says start doing things you love. That'll work, I think. Yeah, that'll work. And then, I think I'm going to actually put one on the outside too. But I'm going to hold it right there for a minute. Because I'm not sure that I want to put it there. I'm not sure exactly where I want to put it. Now, I'm not even going to bother about gluing that, this the uh, paper down on the inside because it's the same size of this and so it's not going to move too much. You can glue it down if you want but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to be gluing across the bottom here anyway. Oh, I like that. I do like that. Okay, let's see. Now, I want to put a little bit of something on the outside. Thinking about a piece of this maybe. Let's see what this will look like first. Oh, it'll be okay at the bottom. I'm not no I'm not even worrying about trying to get it straight torn straight because I'd rather have it not torn straight. Now I'm gonna leave that at the bottom. I'm gonna leave a little bit of an edge and I'm going to flip it around to the back just to help seal that up. Okay. I think I might come back with one of these little flowers on the front side. These are some little short flowers. I like that. 
And let's see. Let's put this one up here. It'll just kind of look like it shows through there. Snoop that little bitty edge off. And I want just a little bit of this washi that's you right. Looks like old writing. I think I'll bring it in right there. So I'm going to trim this edge off. I like to trim off all of the blank edges. It just makes it a little bit easier to put it down and, and get it to where it looks straight enough. You know I won't get it straight, but straight enough. Let's see. Right there. Okay. Then, let's see. Do we want this over there? Well, it looks kind of funny there by itself, so maybe not. Let's just put it down there. It looks kind of strange over by itself, so I'm not sh not too sold on that. So we'll just put it across the bottom of that little flower. I like that. Now I'm going to trim it into a tag shape. And we shall glue this down. So if you have any papers that has some really pretty flowers or scenery or something on them and you know maybe you've printed them wrong like I did or printed them on the wrong paper or upside down or whatever you can use them like this and see that's already got a backing in there and you can definitely write on that on the vellum but isn't that pretty I, I like how they look Maybe you don't like how they look, but I do. You could also ink this in a like a light pink color, and that'd be pretty too. Okay, I just noticed something. I need to glue this down. There we go. So there is another. Now you can keep on decorating these until the cows come home. That's that will be perfectly fine. I may do more decorating when I get started putting them in the when I start putting them in the journals let's just look at one oh, there's a fly of course there's a fly somebody opened a door this is the journal that I'm finishing up and let's just find a good spot these happen to be some good colors that would go in here I know I've got uh, some pockets somewhere you know I made pockets. <laughs> Probably a thousand of them. Oh. Then again, maybe I didn't make pockets. Well, I've got to make more pockets. That was one of the things. That's why I stopped on this one, because I needed to make more pockets. So, let's see what we got. Okay, it could tuck in there if you wanted it to. But I want it to slide down in a pocket is what I want. It could go in here, but that would cover up too much of it. So I don't want to do that. So we may have to make a pocket for it to go in. Looks like. Looks like we will. Let's just do it. Okay, we have a... I have a little side tuck pocket there. I know you can't see that. I'm just rattling on and you can't even see what I'm doing. Um... I think I want a little pocket here, so let's just make one. And we may use some of these scraps that we've got sitting over here to make a pocket out of it. Let's make a pocket with a piece of this, and I'm going to glue probably a couple of pieces of paper behind it because this is a very, very thin paper. I'll tell you what I might do. I'll hold this down. This is printed on a bad piece of paper, too, so... I'm going to use this side of it. So we'll go ahead and I'm just going to cut it larger than I know I need. Okay. 
Yep. That is larger than what I need. This is going to be the top. It's going to have this beautiful lace at the bottom. And then I'm still going to put, I think, let's see. Yeah, I'm still going to put something behind it or in between it. Because it's still pretty thin. Okay, we'll put you aside and we'll grab the glue stick. I don't have any trouble with it stopping up. <laughs> oh, me. I'm going to put something inside. Yes, I am. Of course, it's like um, I did the other day <laughs> when I glued my paper down just to this instead of the backing. You know, I have my mind on about a thousand things. There we go. That'll work. That'll be thick enough. Okay, now we're just going to trim it out with my little scissors that's clinging to everything. These are the Tim Holtz shears, in case you're wondering. I had somebody ask the other day. They are fantastic. These will, things will even cut chipboard. But don't let your kids get a hold of these because they would cut through your bone if you put it in the wrong way. Just um, keep them up somewhere if you've got little ones. But I love them because I can even cut chipboard with them if I need to, which I, I don't normally, but I have before. All right, that is thick enough. Now we're just going to put a little, let's see, I need to make sure that it's going to be wide enough, don't I? Oh yeah, it's going to be plenty wide. So we're going to put a half inch on that side and then I'm going to go a half inch on this side like that. Now this is still wet with glue, so it may not fold exactly right, but that's okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut these little top pieces at an angle. Now these are, um, somebody said, well why do you have so much stuff hanging to your scissors if they're the serrated edge and they're supposed to be non-stick. Well they are non-stick but now if you use them like I do with wet glue and everything else they're going to have a little bit of stuff sticking to them but all you have to do is spritz them with a little bit of alcohol and then just let it sit for a minute and then wipe it off with a rough cloth and everything comes off of them. So it's not quite so bad. But now I use, you know, I use them with wet glue and everything else. So that's why mine have little hairs and everything sticking to them all over. Oh yes, like that. I like it. Okay. Let's try you. Hopefully you're not all clogged today. Oh, Mr. Art GG is going to cooperate with me today. Art GG. Oh, I like that. And then you can slip that tag down in there. And I'll put a little place in it where I can put some seam binding. I'm not going to put it in right this minute because I'm afraid it'll stick to the glue. But I do want to put something else on here. So let's see if we've got anything cut out. If not, if we don't have anything cut out, then I might not put anything on there. Oops. Goodness gracious, I got a mess. Brooklyn was here with me this morning, so she was over here at my craft desk making things. And so I, end, I ended up with a mess. Let's see. Let's pull a little green in there. And uh, yeah, this collection is the one, uh, a completely different one, but it will go fine with this. So we're going to put that down on there. She, I had a bunch of these cut out, and she said, Nana, do you care if I use some of those? And I said, no, you can use them. 
so she used some and she made her a beautiful little page it's very pretty I told her she should have filmed it but she forgot to turn the camera on so she said well I will next time hopefully she'll go home and do her little video on it and show you guys what she made all right do we want to put something else on there maybe a word from Melina's words here whoops I'm dropping and throwing things everywhere people let's put simply beautiful I love that now if you want these words smaller you can print them two to a page I like the size that they are but you might want some a little bit smaller you can print them two to a page and if you want them larger you can blow them up of course you won't get all of them on the same page but you can print them on two different pages if you want but I think this is probably about the right size that I like. I had forgot about these. And until a lady this morning asked me, she said she was trying to find them and she, could, she couldn't remember what they were called. And so I got to looking for her and I found them. And I said, why have I not already printed those off? Which I probably do have them printed off somewhere. Because I normally print off all of our digitals, but probably uh, I probably printed them off and stuck them somewhere, and then I don't know where they are. Now I know I've got words and words and words, but that's okay. I don't mind that. And then that will go inside there, and we'll punch. We we'll use our ribbon punch. This is a ribbon punch, and I get this from Amazon. I'll leave a link to where you can get it. And then I put a little piece of, well, let's see. I've got some sorry silk here. I might just put a piece of that in there. I'd rather have another piece of seam binding, but I don't have it down right this minute. I, I had a um, helicopter that hovered over I don't know why these helicopters are hovering over my house lately it uh, it was so close and so loud that it made my house vibrate it I don't know it kept coming over I don't know if they were looking for somebody in the woods up behind the house or what was going on but my every so often it would be real loud my house would vibrate and I think Lord have mercy what's going on out there isn't that pretty I love that I tell you what let's just go ahead and make another couple of pockets I need pockets in here anyway make another couple of pockets for the other ones let's put a pocket right there uh -oh. let me find another piece of scrap paper here now remember your pockets can be made from whatever don't I mean I make mine all different ways most of the time, if I've got scrap paper like this, that's what I make it out of. Make the pockets out of if I don't already have a pocket made. So, grab some of your scrap paper and <clears throat> start making pockets. Now, I've got all of this scrap paper here. Well, this is not scrap, but this is some that I printed on the wrong paper. Oh, I really like that. Let's see if we can figure out how to... Oh yeah, we can do that right there. So here again, I'm going to fold it in half. Because this was printed on a paper that I shouldn't have printed it on. Fold it in half. I'm just going to fold it all the way down because I'll use that other part as well. And I'm going to make it about the same size as my page. And then I'll fold the edges over like I did that other one. So oh, let's grab our trimmer. I got a mess and I've only started today and I've already got a mess on my desk. A mess on my desk. It'll eventually get cleaned up. Let's go ahead and put a piece of paper down there just so it makes this pocket a little bit thicker. It's a little bit too thin. Yeah, I use in my one of my printers, I use the back side of a lot of the paper that 
we print off invoices and things on. I just flip it over and use the back side for myself for here in the shop because it's better than throwing it away. I just don't throw it away until it's been used. All I can use it. I'm cheap like that. So that's what I had in my printer and I had forgot. And I, I printed on that printer that I normally don't print on. I have a newer one that I print my digitals on, but I actually clicked the wrong button. And so it printed on these papers that had something on the back. And I didn't want to throw them away, so I thought, well, I can use them. I'll just, you know, either put something on the back of them or cover them with something. So I didn't throw them away. I don't like throwing things away that I can use. If there's any possible way I can use it. I mean, we throw enough in the landfills that it is, don't we? And, you know, there's not a lot of recycling around here like a lot of places have. So, we don't get a lot of things recycled. So, it, you know, everything that I can think of that I can recycle or reuse or something, I, I just don't throw it out because I know where it's going to go in our landfill. For my grandkids to have to deal with. Well, I don't, don't think I got that in the middle, but it'll be all right. Okay, we're going to, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll center it up this way. I'm going to score right there on that side. And then on this side, we'll score, right, whoops, right there right oops there and I'm not one of those tree huggers or anything like that I mean I I believe that everything was put on this earth to be used the trees the you know the grass the everything I believe it was all put on here to be used one way or the other but um, I don't like to throw things away that I know that are gonna just sit in a landfill somewhere I try my best not to put things in the garbage if I can help it that are not going to be biodegradable. So I do have a bunch of grandkids coming up and I'd like for their earth to be clean, as clean as possible. Of course I know it's probably not going to be. Oh, I like that there. I thought I didn't ink, but I did. And see, I'm just putting that, those little flaps on each side so that I have more real estate in my pocket. Looks like I put glue everywhere. So now you've got from here to here on your pocket, whereas if you glued it down, depending on how crooked your glue goes, you would only had maybe that much. And sometimes my glue goes pretty crooked. There we go. And I think that one will fit in there. Yes, it will. Let's go ahead and fold. Hello, I forgot all about the Friday freebie when I got started with everything else. So I'm going to fold there. And then we'll fold this one in. They should fit pretty good, hopefully, if I measured everything correctly. This one goes inside that, yep. That one goes outside. Yep, it fits good. And then you can put, you know, something there if you want a little tab. But then you've got your triple fold little pockets, your triple fold little tags, and you've got rotting space in the middle. Just wait till all your glue dries. So that is that one. And you can just clip this on a page or slide it down in a page. You could even clip it, uh, slide it down in a page, slide it down in a pocket, or you could clip it like that on the edge of a page. You'd have part of it over here and part of it over there. Any way that you want to, these would go in your journal just fine. 
all right guys that is it we will talk to you later don't forget to go over and download your freebie and we will see you guys hopefully yes tomorrow because i do have some happy mail that i'll be sharing with you we'll talk to you later bye bye